more than 20, martial arts teachers were guilty of underage sex crimes in 2012. How did this happen more than 20 times in one year? From more than 20 different martial arts schools. Let's examine the variables surrounding this martial arts sex scandal. Martial arts teachers instruct your child to bow to them and call them master or some other pretentious self-aggrandizing title. Which of course, everyone easily realizes that having children call a strange man master and making the kids bow to him and bow to his property creates a submissive role for the student. From the very first day they meet. Which means that your child is being instructed to give absolute trust from day one by calling a strange man their master. It may be alarming to realize that your children have now entered into a submissive relationship with an older man who has positioned himself to become your child's self appointed master. 115 martial arts teachers were guilty of underage sex crimes from 2006 to 2012. So many martial arts teachers abuse the trust that was given to them by parents. Parents who simply didn't know. Parents might not have realized how dangerous it is to have their children calling a full grown man their master and having the kids bow to him. Delivering our children into an absolute trust relationship with a stranger from day one is a formula for disaster. And yet, that is exactly the type of relationship that is created by having children call a man their master. From 1982 to 2012, 204 martial arts teachers were guilty of underage sex crimes. Of the 204 guilty martial arts teachers, almost half of the guilty were the owner or co owner of their martial arts school. Let me repeat that. It was the owner, or co-owner, of the martial arts school, who was guilty of the underage sex crimes, in almost half of the 204 cases of abuse. And since martial arts schools, are not regulated by your state government, are we to believe that martial arts school owners, would report sexual abuse, when they themselves are guilty of it, in almost half of the cases. And herein lies the root of the martial arts sexual abuse scandal. With no checks and balances, the martial arts school owner is playing the role of supreme authority over the school, with no one for him to report to. With more than 200 cases of sexual abuse and hundreds of young victims, it is time for us as a society to enact regulations on the martial arts schools to ensure that we will end their horrible abuse. We can contact our local governments and demand that regulations be put into place. With government regulation and monitoring, we can protect our children from the predatory behavior of abusive martial arts teachers.